Okay, so for the last part, uh, with the storm clouds coming in, maybe some lightning, and the characters' plants all getting reabsorbed really quickly because they're scared, I have to think what the best way to do that is. The first thing I need to do is change the environment a little bit. So get that sky to darken. I went ahead and merged these plants so that I can adjust them individually and kind of have them sway in the wind a little bit. So I merged a copy of the group of plants so I could edit them directly and then also puppet warp them. So these are the assets. So I'm, all those plants were new assets brought in, made the memory take up quite a bit, but as I got what I needed onto the stage, then I was able to reduce them still. And now I can puppet warp to really show that not only is, is the sky darkening, but it's getting a lot windier. So this is a fun way to do puppet warp. I'm just gonna anchor it to the creature and then start tugging on it. Come on. There we go. And then I might need to find some resources for storm clouds. So I'm going to go right to Pixabay. I'm not going to mess around with scrolling through lots of images that aren't curated for their quality. And I'm going to look for Stormy <coughs> night. <laughs> All right, and I get some lightning right away. So it might come in handy, we'll see. Now let's just do clouds. Well, I mean, this is pretty good. This is a dark gray sky. So this one has a lot of digital noise in it, but it's still going to work fine. It's a texture overlay. This one I'm going to crop out a lot, clearly. But it will work. So I've downloaded both of those. They're in my Downloads folder. I'm going to bring them in as assets. Here we go. And instead of duplicating them over and over again, much like I've done with the sky so far, I just want to uh, play with its opacity and its placement. Come on, downloads. I might have brought it over before it was fully downloaded. No matter how good computers get, they can still get hung up with large images, especially with things like animation processing. So sure enough, I interrupted the download. Let me get it again. Oh, there they are. Good. I move them into my folder. Get them out of downloads. Come on. This should be instantaneous. Okay, and first I'm going to move in the clouds. The so lightning strike's not going to happen quite yet. And just like a texture fill, a texture overlay, I'm going to put it on top of the plants and everything. Come on, show up. There we go. You can see all the color is still there from my blue. I'm liking the, the kind of lighting that this is going to give. So I'm going to rasterize it. 
I'm going to try different blending modes. So if we overlay, <coughs> that's what it does. All right, which makes it look a lot moodier. Let's see if we soft light it. Yeah, that's nice. If we pin light it. It's a little too strong. So let's try soft light. Let's take it down a little bit in opacity. So it goes from this now to this. Now let's change the head position. And maybe let's start shrinking the head inside now. So if it was raining, I probably wouldn't want wouldn't want my head to be so exposed. And I had moved the head out quite a bit. So now I'm going to start retreating it in because it's all about getting back to the beginning. So it goes from this pretty quickly to this, like the wind's pulling. You see how the flowers are being pushed back. Um, the blue, I'm actually going to duplicate and flip horizontal. And bring down. Like so, and maybe even blur it a little bit. Oh, this takes so long. But I want the lighting to shift on everything. So it's really kind of stormy and crazy. So I'm going to gouge and blur it a little bit. That will help the hard edges soften. And now these are just color changes, so I can still move the sky behind, which I think will help move these clouds over and in. And this is the head change, yes. The lighting change, yes. Okay, so this is a good one. So, option, layer, merge visible. My waiting song is the theme to Elmo's War. Better than the Jeopardy theme song. Copy it, Command C, go over to stage, paste it in. Oh, I gotta find ways to reduce this memory. Command V, paste, new frame. Oh, look what I did. I made a boo-boo. So I didn't delete my frames before I pasted in a new layer. So it pasted it into all the frames. So it's just a good reminder before you bring in new layers or you make changes, drag those frames back to the trash. All right, good. Now deselect to save memory. I'm going to merge these blue ones together. Soft light 18. And I can make it even stronger. Get up the clouds and put the clouds on top. All right, so that's even stronger. Now I'm going to start shrinking the flowers. And I can start turning some of them off.
Come on. And then I noticed something. It's when I combine the blue, I think. Oh, what, what is it from? Oh, it's from this. Because I shrunk it, the black came in. So I need to get rid of these parts of uh, leftover plant. <laughs> There we go, it's from this one. So just those compositing skills, just like when we did our cartoon jumble, you know, be mindful of those debris you have to get rid of. Okay. Good, let's see, let's just play with one of these. Since it was moving, let's puppet warp this one. Show that the wind's still really blowing. Just going to anchor it back here and then let this all kind of blow back. All right. So they're shrinking back and, um, and getting blown in the wind as well. Okay, now the head changes. I think that reduction is a little strong, so let's get something in between. Maybe there. All right. And I can think I've moved this guy. Let's see. Nope, I haven't yet. So let's move this guy. All right, good. The next one, option, layer, merge visible. Command A, Command C. Paste into the stage. So I'm gonna redo that one because I want the flowers to be a little bit stronger. So option, layer, merge visible. Same thing, I'm just gonna replace the one I just did. Command A, Command C, paste it in. Delete that one. So it doesn't matter if your layers are numbered correctly or not, just as long as they're in the right order. Okay. Now I can start getting rid of some flowers. Let's see, what's the easiest way to do it? Honestly, probably Just reducing them entirely by using the combined layer like that and then puppet warping them again. So let's see if that's too crazy. No, I think that works. And this might be to go with the lightning strike. So Let's puppet warp. Anchor to the spine. Flare some up. Flare some back and out. a regular warp, tug it out a little bit on this side. 